Hey guys, and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel. And I know I had the videos that I was going to film as I did the hunts, but unfortunately, we I lost the clips and I cannot uh, basically the whole everyone in my house tried to find the clips, but we just couldn't find them. So, I guess I'm just going to show my finds um, from the first hunt, and then I'll do a second. I'll, so, um, I'm just going to show my finds for the first. So, um, this is, actually, you know what, this is my finds from the first hunt, um, and let me show them to you. So, the first one, uh, I only got one wheat penny. But it was a night. If you can focus in on that, if you can fo 1955D. So that was a pretty good find. And then we had this one here, which is a 1959 Memorial Back Penny. Um, these are pretty common, although they can be rare if you find a 1959 with the wheat back on it. Those can be worth a lot of money, but. There's that one. Um, here are the oddities of the first hunt. I was hunting customer rolls, so I would find, as from my experience at least, I usually find a lot more odd finds in customer rolls, mainly because you never know what customers are going to put in there. Um, I found this one here that's kind of off-center. It's a 19, 1991D. And then I found this penny. It's a 1979D. Which looks like it was dug out of the ground from maybe from a metal detector. Um, and it could have been in the ground. And it could have been in the ground since 1979. You never know. Um, and then we had few coins that are really scratched up. This one here, I just liked how it was scratched. It kind of looks shimmery and cool. And you can kind of pick it up in the camera. Um, so I think it's pretty cool how that one's scratched up. Even though that I would. I call that vandalizing coins. So this one is kind of the same. I found two of these actually. Um, the one was here and the one, there's another one here too. Um, and then this one was odd, um, but it was scratched off in a more specific place though. It was scratched off on the last digit of the date. So it says 201 and then the date scratched off. I think it could be 2014. Um, but either way, it's common, unless it's, like, a variety. And it's a Denver Mint. And also, there's, like, part of Jefferson's face scratched out, and then part of the coin on, like, the top right right here. I don't know what the, the person who did this was trying to do, but there you go. Um, and then this coin, I always think, when I find 68S nickels, I always think they're proofs. And this one might be, but, whoa, sorry guys, I found one a couple, a couple weeks ago that I'm pretty sure was a proof. This one is probably a proof too, but it's just in, like, circulated shape now, now that it's been in circulation for a while. Um, so there you go. And then I found, um, these are all my S mints. They all kind of look in bad condition. One of them looks like it was like in like a box that was left out for a long time or maybe in the ground. But there's like a 70S, um, a 71S, a 69S, and then another 71S. Um, and then I got two Canadians. One, this one here. Um, oh wait, no, never mind. That was on the next hunt, sorry. I shouldn't show you the finds from the other hunt, because I'm doing that in a different video. Um, and then I got this pretty, it has like green gunk on it. It's like a, it's a Canadian 2000, so it's not copper. But this one is copper. Um, 1976. All the Canadians that I got today, um, in pennies at least, were, um, copper, so. And then we got four, four older nickels four older nickels and here's one a 1957 plane so there you go and then i found a 1959 a d which 
um, is not a black beauty. I haven't gotten a black beauty. There's a few, a few coins that I still have yet to find in nickels and pennies. Um, I mean, I have yet to even find a silver in, um, uh, corner hunting for dimes and quarters. Um, and then this one here is a 1941 Denver. So, so I'm kind of messing up all the finds here, but I already took a picture and posted it on Instagram. That's why I'm reposting this is because I posted everything to Instagram, but I could not find the clips for some reason. I must have not saved them to really anything, right? Like, and then this one, you can just tell in the light, it's shimmering. Can can you see that? Like, it's a 1966, and I checked it. It's not the double die, but it is very shiny, so, and it's kind of toned. You can still see some of the parts of when it was uncirculated. Sorry about my finger there. I have a lot of random cuts on my hands, so just beware of that. You'll see that in this video. Anyway, um, that is it for my finds for part one. Um, stay tuned for part two because I had a really, really good hunt um, for part two. Um, I'm not going to tell you anything about it, but you kind of already see some. So, that's there's a little sneak peek. So, anyway, um, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Do all things that I asked to do in my videos. Peace.